Following claims from IPOB leader Namdi Kanu that Igbo people staged the hijacked protest and that of the 48-hour ultimatum given to the Igbos to evacuate from Lagos and other southwestern states in Nigeria, members of Igbo APC in Lagos have debunked the rumors saying they are unfounded. Part of the aftermath of the hijacked peaceful protest is the ethnic divisions in the cyberspace. This is not only unhealthy, according to the group gathered here, the false claim has also raised fears among Igbos. Denouncing the speculation, Igbo APC in Lagos in a press conference stressed the protest was also hijacked in the Eastern. I'm not saying that some Igbo children or boys and girls did not participate in the looting. Because when you have a, this kind of situation that we have, we will know who is who. Everybody will be doing things. They may be part of people that looted warehouses. Because we had disaster in our hands, and we cannot separate who, who is doing anything. I standing with my people this afternoon to tell you that we don't have the character to put a hand in destroying a place that I met some of us. Condemning the looting and destruction of property, they added those involved, despite their ethnicity, should face the consequences. Those looters, those people are moving around, we have our communication medium, whereby we told everybody, go back to your house and sleep. If you are caught, you are on your own. They also pledged their support to Lagos state government in rebuilding of the state. We are saying in one voice, in amity, in concord, in unity, in tandem, that of all of us as members of Ndibo in APC Lagos, we support the governor and the deputy governor and all the leaders of Lagos to rebuild Lagos. Yes. Yes. This is our pledge. Yes. Part of their discussion was on the rate of fake news on social media, as it is imperative for every news to be verified. Jacinta Obiuku, Plus TV Africa.